While almost everybody was intentionally distracted and divided last week, the September jobs report came out. Right on cue, you saw a lot of articles like this. Payroll soared by 336,000 jobs. Here you can see it basically blew away the estimates. But what they intentionally don't tell you because they think you're stupid is that nearly 900,000 full-time jobs were lost and 1.127 million part-time jobs were added. So this deceptive number actually indicates economic decline. People losing full-time jobs and being forced to get part-time jobs is not a sign of a strong economy. It means that businesses can't afford to employ people full-time because there's not enough buyers, because people don't have any money, and the people that do work full-time have to get an additional job to support their increased expenses. That's all the part-time jobs, but that's not even the full story. You can see in this article in Zero Hedge, a lot of these jobs were seasonal and were in the areas of hospitality, like waiters. And if you see right here, a lot of the jobs that were added, a whopping 984K of them were from the government, AKA printing money out of thin air, creating inflation, devaluing your money to create jobs out of nowhere. And they love bragging about this because they know you won't look into it because they think you're stupid. Losing a full-time job to go work at a restaurant is not a good economy. <laughs>